guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 13 of No Guns Life. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. It's been like, what? Almost a year since we last saw this show? Oh, I'm sorry. That voice. <laughs> Wasn't the blonde thing really like, now? Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, and then the hand thing followed you, right? The, the, that wasn't him. <laughs> well, the I don't know, right? Um, who is this Two-Face kind of character? I mean, I don't want to say he's like Two-Face, but the way it, it looks like, I mean, you know, size pointing, I guess, I don't know. I, don't know. Yeah, I mean, how the heck did I forget this came out on Thursday? I don't know. Between this and another show I gotta watch after this that came out on Saturday, and I'm two weeks behind, like, uh. Hopefully she's okay. I mean, damn, like, cause the last time we saw Olivia, she was, she got hurt, and I think she was like healing up. She was resting and such, and so that was it. Oh, and the girl who's obsessed with, yeah, okay. Slowly but surely, I'm remembering certain things. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's kids for you. You're just a big old softy at the same time, no? Where's your arm? Oh, that's nice.
Yeah, can we just talk about this hand? And out of all the things that fall, it, it looks more like a dog when it does this, but I mean. Yeah, this hand's definitely going to be the pet of the group. Okay, I thought she hung up on her. So somebody was listening and cut the lines. Hmm? Oh! Too late, it's here they come. Give your hand. Mm -hmm. I mean, y'all could jump out the window. Oh, God. Go weird, though! I ask your cousin. Or maybe Drizzo. But it's one of y'all. I mean, come on now. What's wrong? Oh, fuck. Mm -hmm. Damn, they are really fucked them up. Huh? 
Oh my. I forgot how hard headed he was. Yeah, so let, be a little rash and smart about this. You can't just be like, yeah, let's just go. And then this would have happened, maybe. Yeah, that too. You don't need to do this. You so hard headed. Just listen to her, please. No, you. Mm. Did I mention that he was hard headed? Huh. I mean, that's when we were running away with Mary. Everything was fine. We would have eventually got Chris back. Well, yeah, of course, you're the target. No, um, oh, so y'all look at for cheese. <laughs> oh, Chris. Right. Yeah, but see how much you telling the truth about that. I mean, let's be a little honest on that. Typically, sometimes bad guys, once they get what they want, they don't let people go. Are you telling me that the hand can track him? Yeah, th this hand is more like a dog. Oh. Uh, wait, 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 time out, time out, time out, oh, <laughs> stop, <laughs> are you serious, oh,
So don't put quotation marks on that ish. Was. Yeah. Well, you butchered literally like most of the But there's no way. He it seems like he wasn't working with him at all. I mean, I can't say anything. This is only really episode 13, aka episode 1 in the second half of the season. Um, that makes sense. Unless this group is, you know, Watching the crap out of him. To see if Jusok is the dude to you guys, he can't get Chris and Tetsu back. So,
Okay, I thought it was getting his gun out or something. I don't like you. Mm -hmm. Of course, and you'll be there next time. Right? Well, I mean, okay. That's it? I mean, this went by too fast. Okay. But hold on. Did the hand go with Victor or did it stay with Mary? That's the biggest thing. There's still so many unanswered questions with this. Um, Como, I don't like him. I, I really don't like him. He just seems... Really untrustworthy. I mean, we dude from the first half of the season. I don't really remember what happened to him. Dude with the glasses. But he had it. That's the biggest thing. Like he are you telling me he left with like something about that don't make no sense to me. Who leaves without saying anything? Unless he died, but no, he didn't die. I remember him living no matter what at the end of episode twelve, so where he has. <laughs> There's so many unanswered questions still. But I wasn't expecting to meet Victor in this episode. I thought we were going to go like one more episode. Didn't expect the hand to belong to Victor. So, I mean, Mary got questions. I got questions too. Where the heck you been? Like, why are you joining this? Why are you with this group? Why do you, like, why do they want the data? That's the biggest thing. I, I don't know. Mm, I am, I'm stumped. And this is only episode 13. That's what I want to know. That's somebody new. I, I was thinking it was somebody we already seen before. But I think he knows Chelsea. It wouldn't make sense because, I mean, with him specifically, Tattoo, we still don't have like enough information on his character and everything that he's done. So, I mean,. We got less than, like, I think this is also a 24-episode series. So we got, like, 11 more episodes left to at least give some of these characters a lot more um, development than we did in the first half. I mean, especially, like, Tetsu, because I felt like, to me, he got the... Between him and Mary got, like, the least amount of, like, character development. But since her brother is officially, you know, back in town and they're possibly going to have another reunion where... He actually does maybe sit down somewhere secretly um, and talk to her. and Because she's going to have so many questions. I mean, I ain't surprised that he's alive, but I'm surprised that, like, I was thinking this was just some random villain of the week. And then eventually by next week, we were going to defeat him. I didn't think that that was going to be her brother. I mean, like, um, oh, <laughs> I, but then hold on, like there's no man how he sold that data, did he? Because at the beginning of the episode, he had the data. So who'd you sell it to? Unless you were lying to Cabo, which it seems like he was. So I mean, he has to have that data still on him. But then it's like, are you really going to give up that data to get Tetsu and Chris back? I mean, you're gonna do what he's gonna do everything in his power to get them back, of course. But I felt like also Tetsu's gonna be doing. His ish, because we know this boy is a hard-headed boy, and he's going to do whatever the heck he has to do to get not only himself out of a situation, but also Chris. But he doesn't want to 
relive the same with Colt, where Colt died after, and that was like one of the most like hardest things just to watch last year. And so I think, I mean, he, I don't think he has like PTSD with it, but I think anyone who he gets into a, a like a situation with, like if someone else gets captured with him, or he goes to run and save someone, he wants to do everything in his power to prevent someone else's death. He doesn't want to have blood on his hands, even though. Um, Colt, that wasn't really his fault, though. But I, in a way, he still blames himself. And so I get that. I mean, that's a really good thing for him. And so I hope with the last 11 episodes that we have to go through, he eventually gets over that and he's able to be a brand new person and be like, yeah, this wasn't my fault at all, but I can still see why I'm so upset about it. But, I mean, we ain't gonna know until Thursday. But other than that, guys, that was my reaction to Tourist episode 13 of No Guns Life. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially on Thursday for episode 14. Bye, guys.